Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Scratch Learners. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the demultiplexing of the address and data lines in 8085 microprocessor. In the last videos we have discussed about the block diagram and pinout diagram of the 8085 microprocessors. So if you don't know about those then please watch out those video and the link you can get from the description box or I will also give it in the i button. So today before starting with the demultiplexing process of address and data lines let's know what are the address and the data bus in 8085 microprocessor. So the 8085 microprocessor has the address line A8 to A15. We know that the address is of 16 bits. Okay, here we are having A8 to A15 as the most significant 8 bits of the 16 bit address. These most significant 8 bits are used as the memory address and the IO address. So these addresses transports using these lines. So this was about the MSB. What about the LSB? That means the lower order address bits. Here we have multiplexed AD0 to AD7 lines. See what multiplexing means? Multiplexing means combining. Okay, here address line and data lines are being combined into a single multiplexed AD0 to AD7 lines. So the lower order 8 bits of the memory address or IO address appears on these lines and they also serves as the data bus. So this is the multiplexed address and data lines. So what was the need of multiplexing? Why these have been combined together? This multiplexing is been done to reduce the pin count of the device. And why we need to demultiplex them? That means what is the need of demultiplexing these address and data lines? These bits are being demultiplexed because the external memory or the IO device need the complete 16 bit address for decoding and interfacing. So as we know the address requires 16 bits, right? So for getting all those 16 bits we need to demultiplex these lines so that we can separately use the address lines and as well as the data lines and how it is being used in the first clock cycle that is in the timing diagram we have four t states so in the first clock cycle t1 this ad0 to ad7 lines is used as the lower order address bus when ale that means address slash enable is one then the ad0 to ad7 lines will be used as the lower order address line so they will behave as a0 to A7 lines and this is being done in the first clock cycle only whether in the second and the third clock cycle these lines are used as the data bus and it will occur when AL is equals to 0. So in the T2 and T3 cycle they will behave as D0 to D7 lines and one thing we need to keep in mind is that address lines are always unidirectional but the data bus or the data lines are always bidirectional. Why? Because data is needed to be transferred both from memory to IO as well as from IO to memory. So this is bidirectional. Now see this diagram. This is the hardware interfacing for demultiplexing the lower order address bus and the data bus. So here you can see this is the 8085 microprocessor unit and here we are having the most significant address lines that is A15 to A8 and here we are having the multiplexed address and data lines. So these A8 to A15 lines are being used directly as this is not multiplexed right. So this is the higher order address lines but in AD0 to AD7 it is being connected to a latch. This is a D type flip flop. So as we have discussed that this ALE signal determines whether these lines are used as the address or the data lines right so this ALE signal is connected to the latch and here this is connected to the enable line okay so during the first T states in all the machine cycles these AD0 to AD7 lines acts as the address bus as here ALE becomes high so we get the lower order address lines as the output when ALE is high and this lower order address is available on these lines. But when AL is 0, 
then this ad0 to ad7 lines are used as the data lines okay so here you can see when ad0 these are being transferred to d7 to d0 lines and this occurs in the second t state let here consider an example okay so let my address be 1 2 3 4 hex okay this is just a random address so this is the 16 bit address right these are the higher order and these are the lower order address and the data that is being transferred let it be f0 hex this is in hexadecimal okay so this is the data and this is the address now these two bits 1 2 is the most significant bit of the address and it will be transferred using the a15 to a8 lines okay so 12 will be transferred from here and this 34 will be transferred through the lower order address lines when a l is high that means during the first t states so during the first t state the whole address is being transferred but in t2 and t3 states a l becomes zero and here we have to transfer the data lines so the value f0 hex will be transferred through the data lines when a l is equals to zero so in this way we have multiplexed the address and data bus so i hope you understood this concept very easily so this was all about today's video see you in the next video thank you